Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial video on how to access WebEx as a student. In this video, we're going to go over a few of the basics of getting started with a WebEx session from a student view. We'll talk about how you can sign in, how to join a meeting in a multitude of different ways, and the simple ways of participating when you join a meeting. So to start, let's sign in. Right now, I have my meeting window open, but you're going to need a link to access this window. And to do that, you're going to go to wagner.webex.com. When you go to wagner.webex.com, you'll see this screen show up here. If by any chance it is on classic view, you'll want to click modern view because that's probably what most of people are going to be using. So don't get nervous if it looks different, you just want to switch to modern view. When you're ready, you click sign in and the username and password that you're going to use is the same as your all access pass. So I'm just going to change the name here and log in as a student. And I want to put my password in here as well. And press login. Once we log in, we're brought to the main screen for WebEx. Now, before we start talking about how you can join a meeting, one thing I do want to mention is this box here to the right. This blue box will allow you to download the client that you need to run a WebEx meeting. Now, if you choose not to download this client in advance, you will be able to do so once you join the meeting. But if you decide to do it in advance, you won't have to worry about doing it when you join the meeting. So we want to talk about the ways that you can join a meeting, and there are a few. As you can see here under upcoming meetings, if I click on it, it'll take me to the page where this specific meeting is, and I can join it if it's time to join it. You'll see it's grayed out, so right now it's not going on. But if I was able to, I can click join meeting. Now, if you didn't want to do it directly from the main homepage, you could click on meetings and get to your meetings that way as well. You can search by the week and it'll show you everything going on, or you can make it simple and choose all meetings and it'll show you every meeting that you're invited to. Another way that you can join a meeting is simply by joining through the WebEx meeting invitation that you will get in your email. So if we go to our email, this example shows you what it looks like if you get a WebEx meeting invitation via email. When you're ready, you can say yes, you want to join, and yes, you will be there, and you can join the meeting directly from your email as well. It gives you the meeting number and the password that you'll need as a student to access this particular meeting. Now, there is a chance that a professor might ask you to join a meeting by using their personal room link. If we go back here to the main page here, click on home, you can see that everybody has a personal room associated with their account. The link for it is wagner.webex.com slash meet slash whatever your username is. Your professor might send this link to you in some means of communication. So they might copy and paste it in an email, they may send it in a chat, or they might even post it on Moodle. All you need to do is click on that link to go ahead and join that meeting and it'll take you into their personal room. So as you can see, there's a multitude of different ways that you can join a meeting. And now we're going to talk about how you can participate in a meeting once you join it. So I've gone to my meetings link here in the left hand side and you can see now as opposed to before where this green button join wasn't there, the meeting has started. So I'm able to go in and join this meeting as a student. So if I click join, it's going to start the meeting for me. I gotta click join again and I'll be able to access the WebEx meeting screen. That will start my WebEx meeting and I want to disable my camera, and right now by default, my camera and my microphone is already muted. For this video, I want to keep the microphone muted so that way there's no interference, but you can mute it or unmute it depending on what you would like when you go into the meeting. If you don't wanna share your video, you also don't have to start that as well. You just keep both of these turned off. When you're ready, you just click join meeting, and that will open up the WebEx meeting window and you're ready to start. So as a participant, you won't have as many features as the host of the meeting, but you do have a decent amount of them. And if you hover here at the bottom, you'll be able to see those. Now, again, you have your microphone and you have your camera here that you can turn on or turn off at your will. And you can also click on the participants here by clicking on this person here in the bottom and the participants list will show up here on the right hand side. You can also view the chat as well by clicking on the little quotation bubble and that will also allow you to send a chat. So you can send one here if you like. 
This is really useful if you need to send a private message to the instructor. You just want to make sure that when you're ready to send your message, that you select who you want to send it to if it's going to be a private message. So if you don't change this at all, that will go to everyone. But if you click on the downward button here, you can choose to send it to the host or the presenter. So right now we're not going to do that, but you do have the option if you choose to chat. You also can look at your settings here by clicking on the three dots. You can check your audio connection and your speaker and microphone and camera, and you can copy the meeting link if you need to send it to another participant. You'll also notice here at the top you have a menu of sorts that you can go over some of the features. Most of the features are up here are the same ones that are down here, and these are just a shortcut to the really important ones. You also notice that you do not have the ability to share content because you are not the host of the meeting. But if you did have presenter privileges, you could add content by clicking that button here. Pretty much from here on out, it's pretty normal in terms of being a participant in one of these sessions. You'll just sit and watch what the professor puts there for you. Sometimes they will share a file or they'll share their screen and ask you to participate by speaking or turning your webcam on or off. If you do have presenter privileges, you'll have the ability to upload content and share content with the students, but otherwise you're just going to sit and watch the presentation like any other participant. I hope this tutorial helped you to get to know WebEx as a student. You now know how to sign in, you know how to join a meeting in a multitude of different ways, and how to participate at a basic level.